Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast for the Group B round one match between Frankie129 and his Undead versus Ratamo and his Imperial Nobility. As you can see, neither have painted their team. These are the default colours from the game, so a bit sad, a bit sad to see that the you know the lack of care and attention there. But we can see how they qualified. So Frankie129 is Spanish and qualified through the NBB. One of our three NBB qualifiers there, with Gabby Ass and Ivan Colin. So a pretty good pedigree from that league. And Ratamo is Finnish and qualified through Divisions of Death. I don't know what the league that is, but there you go. That is that is how he qualified. And uh, as far as the team races go, we've got the best in the game, which is Undead, arguably. And the worst in the game, which is definitely Imperial Nobility. Definitely the worst team that exists. Um, let's see what he's taken. He's taken a dirty player. It's all right, I guess. A tackle blitzer and a mighty blow blitzer. So one of the good things that they've got is getting dodge on both, like blodge on both their blitzers. He hasn't taken that stack. He's instead taken a taken a secondary to get mighty blow and uh, a tackle. So yeah, no blodge at all on the team. He's got a sure hands thrower uh, and he's got a, another dirty player on the bench. Got three rerolls and an apple um, and no ogre. So, yeah, I, I actually quite like the Ogre. And if you have the Ogre, then you take leader on your thrower. And uh, then you get to drop the... Uh, you know, you get to drop the leader and replace it with that. Um, so, yeah. This is unfortunately... Uh, this is unfortunately... I, I'm not a fan of the build. And hate Imperial Ability. <laughs> um, meanwhile... Frankie129 has gone for a much more normal build, um, though still a bit, you know, so the roster's normal, which is the four ghouls, three rerolls, 13 player. Um, generally, you either you either guard the mummies or you don't. So he's gone for the guarding the mummies, which has meant tackle, uh, tackle on the white, two blocks, and a wrestle. Could have also taken guard on this white instead. So... It's there's a lot there's a there's a lot to it you know like blodging up your ghouls is great having defended ghouls is great but also having strong guard players is great as well I don't really think there's a right or wrong it depends on the players and what they feel they would benefit from the most like you know if you struggle versus orcs take guard mummies if you struggle versus elves take block ghouls I think is the way to do it so let's go. That was a long old intro, and I do apologise. Greasy cleats, oh, this one's got minus movement. And actually, what's really bizarre is Ratamo won the toss and chose to kick. He chose to kick against a team with two mummies. So, an armor 8 plus guys on the LOS, so... It's not what I would have done, and... He starts off getting two players cast. No, sorry, a Kaz and a KO. Also, to be fair, if I was Frankie, I would have put my mummies, like, inside, punching out, right? It's personally how I would have done it, so that your mummies were more relevant. Like, it doesn't make so much difference, but I don't know, it's, what, it's just what I would have done. Whether it's right or wrong, that's what I would have done. It mattered enough for me to mention it, <laughs> but I don't, know if it meant, I don't know if it actually mattered or if, you know, which was right and which was wrong. It's his mighty book. It's, this this seems horrible. <laughs> Honestly, without the ogre and choosing to kick, uh, you know, I think Dimmy has recommended kicking before with knobs, maybe because you know they're good on defense. They're good on defense. Apparently, that's what people tell me. People tell me they're good on defense because they've got stand firm. Um, never kicked in. Says okay. Well, Dimmy is the knob master, the knob father, if you will. So, it's a removal. Three players down. Enjoy your turn too. <laughs> it's 
goes for a mighty blow hit on a zombie. Wouldn't have cared if he died, would he? Yeah, and that's that's being borne out by this, right? Like, especially versus Undead of all teams to kick against. You know, a team that starts with two mighty blows, strength five. They get to hit you a lot with mighty blow. Not making it a 3D, gets the power. I don't really like having the uh, mummy isolated. I've just got it in right. I've got it in. I would have exerted its influence. Get it in contact. And uh, make my opponent try to deal with it. He didn't follow that. So stays next to the mummy. I definitely like following there. Just get away from the moon, right? Like this is the thing. If you, if you, <laughs> you need to keep your knobs away from their mummy, right? That's that's Blood Bowl 101. Oh, Wotan. He did a rush there. Oh, because it was for three dice? Oh, it made a cards. Easy. Wait, I don't understand. I don't understand. He's two away. It's not three dice. He's two away and he just did a GFI. He can't even push him because he's got a stand firm. But cards him anyway, so there you go. Great decision. Apple used and works. I was to get guard on him if he only pushed him. But in that case, I'd, I'd just take the 1D, right? Yeah. I'm not bothered by that. Oh, both down. Yes, Calcium, yes. <laughs> yeah, it's cool, isn't it? There's 64 coaches. Uh, there's a few of the usual suspects. Um, there's a few really, really top, top player, top tier players. There's a few like Chalice regulars, and there's a few names you haven't heard of, either because they're from PlayStation or they're from like private leagues or tabletop, right? We've got uh, last, a few matches ago, we had a tabletopper that uh, I had no knowledge of, so that's pretty cool. Another removal. I guess he's going to rush with the mummy, that's why he hasn't stood it up yet. Does a rush with that zombie? Flip me. Is it really a dicing though? Nah. <laughs> well, that's not a very nice thing to say, Calcium. <laughs> I mean, I can't disagree, but it's it's not a very nice thing to say. <laughs> That's it's just a joke. It's just a joke. Of course, it's just a joke because Dimmy loves knobs. Um, so it's just friendly banter. It's just friendly banter. Um, but yeah, I, I don't. I definitely don't like. I don't like Imperial Nobility. They're not a very good team. And while they get a good package in these events, 
And it gives relevant things. It gives guard. It gives guard, stand firm, and it gives block and dodge, though not in this case. Um, again, you know, you can have six guards. Six guard is pretty impressive, even though your base that you're build, putting it on is bad. And you are getting wrestle guard and stand firm on the same player, which is good, right? Stacking skills is good. It's why they don't let you stack skills, because stacking skills is good, and, and you get a big stack of skills. So, like, there, 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 are, there are pros to them, but also they're the worst team and part they're the worst non-stunty team in Blood Bowl 3 that's just a fact so you know not great oh. Um, he definitely should have assisted from here, by the way, and then he could make this block. Now, if he pushes it, he's just pushing him up the ball, so he couldn't make the block. So he definitely had to go there. So he could punch. <laughs> Playing with knobs and like that. They, I mean, not honestly. Imperial ability are statistically the worst team in Blood Bowl Three. Non-stunty team in Blood Bowl Three. They are a, they are just a bad team. Uh, same as All World Alliance, and it's. Though, though Nobility are a worse team, believe it or not. Worse performing team on ladder than All World Alliance. Which is hard to believe because All World Alliance seem absolutely garbage. Um, but I think Nobs work out better for Resurrection Format. The fact that you get the Blodgers and the Guard Stand Firms. That, that at least says something to me. Like there, oh man, you have to move your ball first here, by the way. You have to move your ball first here. This guy is not getting in the way of your ball. So, just move it first. So that, you know, if you quad skull, you can still skull without rolling any dice. Move this guy in as well first. Yeah, all world lines are rubbish as well, but all world lines are the second worst team on ladder. And ability are, are are the absolute worst. Oh well, we've based the ball, and now we're going to try and tackle it. Fail. You can three dice block this, and then you can three dice blitz it. Oh no, he can't three dice block it. No, he's got to just three dice blitz it and then three dice block it. So same difference. It's actually a mistake there. Oh, it's actually a mistake there, right? He should have blitzed from here in case it was a push, and then he could have pushed it away. Like so. Oh, God, right. Let, let let me go back. So let me go back, game. Right. One, two, three, four, and then if you get the push, he stands firm, and then you get an extra chance to hit him, right? If you blitz from this direction, he doesn't stand firm, and then you push him there, and you have to dodge. So this is why you have to blitz him from this direction. The push direction does matter. So there you go. That's, what, that's why I had to explain it, so that people didn't just shout, stand firm. You've got this guy who hasn't activated. If you blitz from here, it guarantees you two chances to block him on three dice to knock him over to save the dodge. Yes, the dodge works eight times out of nine, but it's better to not have to dodge. And by this kind of lazy, automatic, unthinking, whatever you want to call it, blitz, it was you know it was just a bit it was just a bit lazy or unconcentrated. If he'd rolled the push then Ratamo would have not used stand firm, he would have been pushed here, he would have not had the follow-up hit, and then he would have had to dodge and he could have failed it. So that was a very, you know, important optimization that wasn't made there. So there you go. So easy drive for the undead. As you would expect, because knobs are rubbish. 
Uh, they are, they're a bad team. They're just a bad team. I'm sorry. They're a bad team. They can they can do things against uh, they can do things against elves and stuff, right? Because they're still just players. They can dice you. They can make blocks. They can stand in the way with guard and stand firm, but they're not a good team. They're not a good team. They're just not. And that's no offense to Ratamo at all. It just hasn't. He just hasn't given himself the best chance to win, in my opinion. It is just my opinion, of course. But um, yeah. Who knows? Maybe I'll be proved wrong, and Nobs will win. Maybe the five Imperial Nobility teams, four of them will get to the final eight in Montpellier and uh, we'll be there in this studio commenting on knob mirrors all in the semi-finals. Both semi-finals could be knob mirrors and the third place playoff could be a knob mirror and the grand final could be a knob mirror. And uh, the chance of that happening is, well... Let's just say, if that's happening, then maybe PC will uh, be having a very nice time with Angelina Jolie. That's about how. Uh, that's about the likelihood of it happening. Could have, could have made some three dices there, right? If he'd wanted. With the uh, the undead being so far behind. So how many players are there? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh dear. So nine knobs, but only ten undead because they did, they did violently foul the zombie. <laughs> oh wow! This 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 mummy got pro from the prize to nuffle. Ah. Amazing. But yeah, I mean, I don't like the build as well. I, like, I don't think the build, Imperial Nobility are a good team, but specifically this build, I'm very much not a fan. Very nice. I don't like the follow, actually, but I like the uh, non-stand firm to get him away. And the, the follow is to mighty blow this guy. Which, fair enough, it's not terrible. Yeah, let's him smash a lineman to pieces. Not a huge fan of that. TBH. Oof, rush to blitz. Spicy. Especially the stand firm, like it, it. The rush would have been a bit better if you could have followed and then got a 2D here as well. And he moves the ghoul to, uh, oh no, to not go. Oh, to screen him after he pushes him away. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Another rush there. This is looking pretty bad for the nobility. Pretty bad. Wrestles down the mummy. Oh, hands off, we're gonna potato. With a cheeky mighty blow on the way. Mm. 
And he gets a couple of players to screen him. Nice little breakaway there. Now this ghoul can probably only, only uh, base him, mark him. Unless he dodges and wandies, which doesn't seem very good, does it? So he's just trying to get stuff back, I guess. That was a bit of a hole left by him, though. Probably shouldn't have left that hole, should he? Probably should not have left that hole. A one dice pow! Unbelievable. Yeah, with a player advantage that the undead had, they probably shouldn't have allowed this. To be quite as easy as it was. Is he going to get a turn of stall out of this? Maybe. It's not easy though, is it, to be fair? No, I don't think he is going to get this turn of stall. I think he's just going to have to bang it in. Especially if not having dodge on the, on the blitzer. If he had dodge on the blitzer, maybe just try to do something. So nine players and still 11 for the undead. Oh, the knobs get a blitz! They've got half a chance. Oh, this is dice rolls on a blitz. Oh, wow. Three rushes? And a punch on the blitz? Jesus. <laughs> His dice on that blitz were better than Ben Bo back into this for the entire match. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> That's tragic, isn't it? Poor Benbo. There was there were a few people who had some horrible dices in this. Oh, gotta re-roll it. In the dub skulls? Oh wow. Knob supremacy. <laughs> No way! No way! <laughs> no way! Oh! This is pretty horrendous now for the undead. Pretty horrendous, like everything's pretty much tagged apart from one, one ghoul. No, oh, I guess, yeah, blitzes and picks up. Probably should have looked his wrestler first, right? It's a removal. Has to use his last reroll on the pickle. Flip me. The tackle. The tackle blitzer is right there as well. <sighs> Pro. Pro's the skull into a pow. Oh, it's a dirty player. This is the tackle. Sorry, I'm an idiot. Sorry, I'm an idiot. Yeah, knobs are the worst team on ladder, and undead are the best team on ladder. Well, the tackle's already punched. But that means we can still uh, hit the ball with, like, 
but just to dodge right from one of the wrestlers. Either wrestler can dodge and hit the ball. There we go. Also, he's going to dodge both for 2D. Makes sense. Gets a full power. Flip me. Doesn't go for the pickup. I think I would have gone for the pickup there, you know, just get more guard around the ghouls. And you might, it just might work, right? This is looking like a 1 1, isn't it? This is. I say 1 1. Looking like a 1 1 at best for the undead. 1 1 at best for the undead. This is. Uh... I was just. Sorry, I, I was a little bit biased now. <laughs> I was looking at it as, a, as an undead player here. <laughs> it's because I'd never be an Imperial Ability player. No, oh, he catches it. Get the pal. Wow. Well. Um. Uh, the blue red is kind of reserved for ones where it's like super hard. Maybe, maybe knobs are, are, are just a bit hard. I don't know. This seems okay for me. Maybe I'm wrong. Also, it's turn 15 now, isn't it? So, Wow. That's scatter, and then there's the ghoul catch. It, like, so, I mean, that... You know, I hate to be an I told you so kind of person, but, you know, if he'd, if he'd got the, picked up the ball the previous turn, he'd have been all right, wouldn't he? And then somehow, the scatter and the catch, and then the ghouls are away. And, and what a turnaround. What an absolute turnaround. Yes, he could have also not tried to scatter it, yes. That's true. That's true. And now he's, what, two rushes away? No rerolls. Makes the four plus, but not the three plus. So he's just 70% to win. Frankie 129. And he gets it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, so very strange, um, actually, that Ratamo didn't go for the pickup in case, like, you know, the scatter went bad. And then just literally chose to scatter it with no chance of picking it up, right? So, yeah, if, you, if you're going to scatter it the next turn, you definitely should have gone for the pickup that turn. Because half of the time you just have the ball. And the other half, yeah, okay, it could scatter badly, but... To start off by scattering it, yeah, always carries, carries a high risk, and uh, you might be kicking yourself about that. Um, but you know, commiserations, Ratmo, congratulations, Frankie129. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.